Right, we're going over to Mum's tonight. I haven't seen my mum since Feb. Look how yummy that looks. The blueberries have kind of like turned into jam. It looks so good. Yeah, it's a lovely little vegetable patch, isn't it? How long have you had a stingray for? Um, third day. Oh, so it's new. Yeah. Hi there, and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. It is Monday the 27th of July, and it's pouring with rain. I was supposed to be going out with the girls for a long walk this morning, and I think we've pushed it to the end of the week. That was the only time we could all do it together. Um, this week, I have just decluttered a cupboard in the kitchen. I've popped that on the end of my weekend vlog, so that would have gone up already, but it's got me off to a really, really good start. I've already got quite a lot of work done today. Because I thought I was going out with the girls for a long walk, we usually go about nine miles, so we're gone for like two, three hours, and... I gave myself a shorter work list so I've actually got a little bit of extra time on my hands so I'm going to be doing some more work in the kitchen today but that's going to be a separate video I'm going to do a kitchen declutter and I think I'm going to try and turn one of my kitchen units into more of a display unit so I'm very excited about that uh, what else do we have planned this week I don't know nothing too exciting but I hope you'll enjoy spending the week with us Thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoy the weekly vlogs. And if you'd like to see anything in particular, any particular content, just leave a comment below and let us know. Holly's bought us a treat from Waitrose. $1.99 and then her discount as well for that. Something I have just done. I cleared out a kitchen cupboard and I had loads of paperwork down the side of the cupboard. I've taken it out and stuck a plastic 12 by 12 wallet. You could do this with a an A4 as well. And I've put all the like the menus, we've got maps, um, other bits and pieces like local tradesmen um, leaflets, things like that. I've just popped them on the inside of this cupboard door. So it looks really tidy and nobody would know it's there except for us. That looks much better. I'm having a really odd day and I don't know why. I just feel really different today. Um, I don't know if it's because I ended up with that extra morning. I think it must have done like a bonus morning. And I've done a kitchen declutter and transformation. Did I show you? I can't remember if I did. Anyway, um, my inks arrived. Um, I ran out of ink yesterday. I never run out of ink. I've always got so much ink. The fact is, I've got loads of ink, but I didn't have any black ink. I seem to be using loads of black ink lately. I've got all the other cartridges, so it's just arrived. So now I can print off my address labels. And get all those going and then i'm heading to the kitchen i think it's time for a spot of it's four o'clock i'm really hungry i'm about to pack orders but first i've just remembered we've got some leftover veggies in the fridge uh, roasted veg i've just popped them in the microwave and put cheese and spring onions and sweet chili sauce on the top so i'm going to eat that first and then i'm going to pack my orders and then i'm going to bake I'm going to do something that I don't do often enough. While I'm packing, I'm going to listen to a podcast. Do you listen to podcasts? Are there any that you would recommend? I love Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone. I find her so inspiring. And she's done courses as well um, on like growing your blog and things like that. And it's something that I really want to learn more about. So I've just popped on a podcast. With getting started with anything, whether it is trying sourdough or cooking from scratch or starting a blog, making a course, writing a book. My sister and I were talking about this just the other day. There is something about getting started. It's so she 20 to six. I'm going to step away from my desk. I am feeling so inspired. I have been watching Lisa's videos. I've been reading blog posts. I've been listening to her blog um, podcast. She's somebody I've followed online for a long, long time. You know, just certain people you just find really, really inspiring. She's one of those people to me. We live such different lives, but she really inspires me. And um, I feel really excited now. Anyway, I'm gonna go and clean bathrooms. That's how exciting my life is. And then I'm still going to bake because I need to use up some blueberries. So this is what we started today. I did a full video and we took the doors off. We need to paint them. We need to paint inside. But we reorganized everything and we can now display our We Are Here mugs. I don't know if the video has gone up yet. If it has, I'll link it below. So before I start dinner, I'm gonna make these blueberry crumble bars. I haven't made them for ages and they are so, so good. So I've melted my butter. I've got my dry ingredients here and 
I need to mix them together. So I pressed the mixture into my pan. I've lined it with greaseproof paper. The very important thing is to keep a cup's worth to one side. We need that for our shopping. I've got loads of fresh blueberries that need using up. Um, so I'm gonna use these, but you can use frozen fruits if you prefer. I've used the same bowl that I used to do the, t uh, the base and the topping in. That's absolutely fine, save you using another bowl. And I've also got a few raspberries there that need using up from the garden as well. And to the fruit, I've added sugar, lemon juice, and corn flour. I'm just gonna give that a really good mix. That already looks really, really yummy. Hey. Hello. You're really out of focus. Have you had a good day today? Mm. Still suffering with headaches. Are you? Oh, mm. I wasn't watching what I was doing. I've just sprayed it everywhere. <laughs> uh, and then the crumble just goes over the top. We can get that in the oven then and then I can start dinner. This is going to be so yummy. And this is vegan that I'm making as well. I've used vegan marge. So it's a good one for vegans too. And that's gone in the oven for 55 minutes. I'm gonna get a sourdough on the go so we can have sourdough bread for breakfast and then I'm gonna start pasta. So I'm toasting homemade sourdough. And let's turn that down. I've got sun dried tomatoes, garlic, Philadelphia. And this is the vegan one with Biolife, vegan cream cheese. And I'm adding hot water from the pasta. I've got linguine in the pan. And I'll also add wine and grated parmesan. And that's going to make a really delicious sauce and lots of fresh basil as well. I've topped the now garlic bread, some with just the vegan garlic butter. And I've put some with cheese and onion. Now my sauce is nice and thick. I've added extra cheese. Got my vegan one here. I've added a little bit of salsa to Holly's actually. And now I need to put basil in both and then add the pasta. And then we've got the garlic bread and I'm just dishing up the pasta. I'm really, really looking forward to this. Look how yummy that looks. The blueberries have kind of like turned into jam. It looks so good. And I can't stop looking at my cupboard. I keep thinking the doors have been left open. It's really weird. Morning, happy Tuesday. I've had really, really bad night's sleep, really bad dreams. Um, I suffer with bad dreams quite a lot um, to the point where I have to stay, keep, stay awake so that I don't go back to sleep. However, I stayed awake, browsing online, and then I still had bad dreams afterwards anyway. Um, first job I'm attending to this morning. I had a really rubbish order yesterday. I'm so annoyed. Um, my printer order came with notepads for the kit, and I'm really, really unhappy with the quality. And they want... I've sent photos already but they want even more. So I'm just going through it and 100% of it's rubbish anyway. But I'm just lining everything up to take photos and they want a video as well. I really hate this, but you can just see the quality there. All the corners are scuffed and the printing is really off as well and it doesn't match the proof. And I've got all like card stuck on the side and I'm not going through and removing all this card on the sides there of every single one. It's all like paper that's stuck to the side. I'm so annoyed. I really need to get to pack in my orders. I've had a morning of dealing with kind of like complaints. Um, obviously dealing with those notepads, I've dealt with that now, that's done. And then I've received a delivery, something for Aid's birthday and it's smashed, I'm gutted and it's not from the UK either. So I've dealt with photos and emails with that and I've dealt with my Matalan order. You know that Matalan order I got? I took the laundry bin back to the um, local store and it was £12 and they only gave me £6 back and I questioned it and he said that was right. However, I've come back, I've got the order confirmation here and so I've just dealt with that and I wasn't going to bother them. And I thought, well, it's £6 and it all amounts up, doesn't it? I dealt with the Morrisons things the other day. I had the noodles and I had the Rivitas and that was four pounds. So by doing them both, that's 10 pounds then. I think sometimes it's easy to think, oh, it's too much hassle. It's only a couple of pounds, but it does amount up. So I've emailed that, sent a photo up of the receipt with the refund. I happened to find it in my purse. So I thought I would do that. And um, yeah, just been dealing with all that. It's really 
annoying sometimes how time consuming things like this are when it's not your fault and you're having to take photos or videos in this case for the notebooks and now I've got to put all the notebooks back because they wanted to see pretty much all of them so um need to tidy that away now and then I'm going to pack my orders it's been a busy afternoon I have however been sat on the sofa working on the celebrate little things kit and I've got a lot done so I'm pleased about that I'm going away from the meal plan tonight I quite often do that um, I really didn't fancy curry today so I just fancy something a little bit lighter so I'm doing homemade fish and chips tonight Holly bought us home I haven't actually looked at it yet a load of hake from work that was reduced from like seven eight pounds down to three pounds so I'm going to do that I've got some potatoes that need using up so I'm just taking all the dodgy bits off Going to give them a good wash and we're going to have skin on potato chips and my mom's on her way to have her dog put down she'll probably be at the vets about now i feel really sorry for her she's got a springer and he's 14 and he was diagnosed with cancer last january not this january just gone but january last year so he's done really really well and they've seen it coming he's just got poorly the last few days and um, he's been on medication for obviously a while, but um, he's not taking himself out to the garden today. He's really, really struggling, so I think it's come. So I'm really sad for her. She's going to really, really miss him. He's her buddy. Poor mum, I feel for her. The worst thing about having pets, isn't it? And there's tonight's dinner, homemade hake. So we've got fish and chips with asparagus and baked tomatoes. Nice and healthy. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. It is nine o'clock. I've got my coffee and I've been really good. I've got up and edited this morning. I've done loads of work actually already. I've even washed my hair today. Um, right, we're going over to mum's tonight. I haven't seen my mum since Feb. As you know, her dog had to be put down last night, so we're going to go over and I've offered to take food for everybody. I've got a really busy work day as well. I've got so much to get done today. Um, so I'm going to throw a curry in the slow cooker. I've got to feed five adults, so I'm hoping that will be enough because I know three of the adults have very large appetites. But my other dilemma is that I don't have loads and loads of ingredients for a curry because I wasn't planning on making one this week. It wasn't on my menu. Um, I've got a half that sweet potato. Do you remember that really big sweet potato I bought? I've got one onion. I've got a bit of ginger, garlic, but I am going to make it go further. I've got the whole cauliflower. I've got red split lentils. I've got chickpeas. I'm out of spinach. I'm gonna put I um, might even do three tins of chopped tomatoes. I'm going to throw in a curry paste that I've got from the cupboard. That's actually red thai, but it would all go really nicely. And I'm going to be adding turmeric, coriander, onion gar granules, and cumin as well, ground cumin. And that should make... Oh, ooh, and um, coconut milk. I need coconut milk as well. So I'm hoping, I just want to fill that pot to the top. Um, and then somehow transport it to my mum's. So I'm just going to try and bulk it out as much as possible. Everything's thrown in. I've got onion, garlic, ginger, all the spices. I've cleared out quite a few of my jars actually where I had quite a bit left in the bottom. But because I'm doing it for quite a few, it's quite handy. Red lentils, sweet potatoes and chickpeas. I've drained off all the water, the excess water from the chickpeas. I'll keep that. It's a really good substitute for egg whites. You can whisk it up and use it just as you would egg whites. Brilliant for vegan food. I'm now going to add, I've decided two tins of coconut milk. I'll do two to start with of tomatoes and see how it goes. I might add a third. And the curry paste and then finally some cauliflower. The garlic has really activated my eczema it's driving me mad i keep washing my hands and it's really really itchy it's just suddenly really driving me mad oh my mum's on the phone i've added the cauliflower everything's just cut into like bite-sized chunks giving it a good stir that was my mum on the phone my brother and his boyfriend may not be around now for dinner so it might just be three of us 
but that's fine. Aiden, hey, I'm doing my weekly vlog. You're allowed to be in these ones. Oh, I'm allowed in these ones, am yeah, I? Yeah, I can't say hello. Oh, no. I feel I get told off. You do. Do I? Say good morning. Good morning. I've got samples from Jennifer. Oh, it's nice. These are for, I get muddled up, September, I think. Hmm. So, yeah, uh, all this, yeah, this is the September kit. Okay, very nice. September kit is going to be called Stay Cozy. Oh, these are so nice. She's <laughs> clever, isn't she? Look at these stickers. They're so nice. And we've got, jet. look, do you like that? Oh, yes. It's a little That is one of those stickers. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to undo them really carefully so you can reuse the bag and the sticker. <laughs> um, so Jennifer sends, sends me samples so I can have a look and then if I want to make any changes. So I'll look through with them with you. So we've got one with, let's hide our faces, a little mug. A naturally beautiful book. I love my cozy place these will be really good little journaling spots Aww. and this one says makes me happy and we're gonna go with the theme of everything cozy so this will be the kit that arrives sort of like mid to late September depending on where you are in the world what's that yeah the, that's the October planner oh, okay, pack because the October then is for the month after you wouldn't want to receive no I know that I know September. Yeah, you need to have a, you need to yeah. have a month ahead exactly. yeah that's for the planner one I forgot it's not for the kids is yeah, it so yeah that's the planner stickers and planner pack I'm pleased with Very those good. she's clever isn't she yeah. I'm excited and I don't know what this is let's have a look Maybe. I had something arrive for Aid's birthday so I couldn't open it before and I can't open it now because he might see it but I'm very very pleased I forgot to share by the way I bought a new t-shirt recently I've worn it a few times and I meant to share it with you I really like it um I think it was like pride rock prints or something I'll link it up below it's one of those where it's kind of like theme park but not in your face theme park and I like the colour. I think it's a really happy colour. And it's such a lovely soft t-shirt. I'm really pleased. I think it's only about £13 or something. It wasn't terribly expensive. Um, so I really like it. thought I would share that with you. Um, I'm filming a studio vlog today. And I've got loads of creating going on. So I'm going to crack on with it. Remember ages ago or a few months ago. I spoke about the Quidco thing. And how I use Quidco all the time. Um, I've just had an email. And I've had some. Cause it takes sometimes a while for the um, the cash back to come through. Just had another one come through. And I've actually made. Um, had £33 cash back this month. Last one was for um, Home Away. That was one of our holiday ones. Um. And I've had um, from my printer this month, Funky Pigeon this month, um, from birthday cards. Um, so that's really quite cool. But that's £33 I'm about to put into my bank that I wouldn't have had otherwise. Um, let me know if you've tried um, Quidco since I mentioned it. If you've tried it for the first time, it does take a little while sometimes for the money to get through. But you just, and also note, have a look. I like to keep a little note. I have a little mini notebook that I keep on my desk and every single time I use Quidco I make a note of the company I've shopped through and the date um, you have to allow I think it's three days and if it isn't showing you can then do a claim and put in like the order details and the amount and all that kind of thing and they will try and chase that for you but it's really really worth doing I'll leave the link below for Quidco if you haven't done it yet um, if you use my referral we both get money back I think it's like five pounds or something um, and it works out then really good for both of us and there we go thank you very much Quidco I just realised we're nearly in Swindon and I haven't actually picked up the camera I'm feeling really flaky forgotten to eat properly today and I've been working in the car and that's made me feel a bit rubbish. I've been editing photos and stuff and cutting bits for the kids. Um, are you looking forward to seeing my family? Yeah. <laughs> I'll stop getting a sandwich on the way. Uh, we're really fancying a Marks and Spencer's egg and tomato sandwich. It's been really so sandwich. long. How long has it been since we had one? Oh, February. we actually had one. No, we had one in lockdown, remember? Did we? Because we actually went and sat in the car park in Camberley, remember? No, that wasn't then. We didn't was do that. Not? No, we haven't had one. Have we not had one then? No. Oh, well, Last time we probably came to Swindon, so fair. So probably, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hate these roundabouts. Mum's taking me down to the vegetable patch. She's been picking lots of veggies for me to take home. 
Are your strawberries still going? You've still got flowers. Yeah, they're, they're nearly finished now. Wow, I thought they were. No. They were already done. No, I like coming to your vegetable patch. It reminds me of Peter Rabbit. You've got loads of carrots, Mum. I know. Wow. Gosh, your lettuces, Mum, they're huge. Yeah. They're beautiful. They just need a good wash. Yeah, that's fine. I better had washed these, hadn't I? Oh, look, and some of them have gone over. Yeah, that's what oh. I said. Do you want me to take one over to Sarah Jane? Yeah. Let me get, let's have a look under here. Are these beetroot, Mum? These are, these are, um... What have you got over here? Oh, you got more over yeah. here as well. Can you, um... Blimey. This, can I yep. ask you? Yeah, I can see them through there. Yeah. Do you want any beet, any rhubarb? We've got rhubarb in the garden. Okay. Oh, Mum, what are these ones? Oh, that's, um, I don't know what that is. That, that, look... that looks like um, oh. squash. Yeah. Yeah. They look cool. Yeah. Beach root. And beans. Okay. And, um, rhubarb. Yeah. Yeah, we've got courgettes growing. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to ask you, you know your beans here? Yeah, they're French, they're small beans. Oh, that's what we've got growing on our front yeah. doorstep. And then in, these we are, expect them to grow tall. Going out. Oh, they're le Oh, they're going to be planted out? Yeah, we've started. But I thought they were spring onions. Started, oh, they? look, yeah, I can see. Then, wow, you've got so much. Look. Oh. I've got peppers, look, oh, these wow. are all... Oh, you've got so many, yeah. Matt. I love your greenhouse. And there's basil. Oh, and um, all your tomatoes. Yes. And, um... You've got loads. Peppers there, look. Oh, as well. And then these are your... These are, your um, cucumbers. cucumbers. They're... Oh, yeah. Oh, they yeah. are. They're really good. Nice yeah. size ones, actually, yeah. Mum. Yeah. Oh, and another one over here. Yeah, look. Yeah. Mum's got a lovely herb garden as well, all her mint. She's just taken me a great big chunk of parsley out. And some chives, and then we've got other potted bits and pieces here as well. And apparently this one's oregano. Yeah, it's a lovely little vegetable patch, isn't it? What's that, Gareth? You haven't been on my vlog for ages. Oh, hello. Hi, James. Don't say hello to my vlog. Hi. So this is James. Your vegetarian curry, I said, would nice be. Well, I think it was probably tall. vegan, wasn't it? It was vegan yeah, curry. Was vegan. Oh, your vegan curry was really nice, but it needed a bit of chicken, <laughs> 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 which I know wouldn't make it vegan, but either that or some corn. I thought it needed some chew. Okay. You no know, corn isn't vegan, is that right? No. It's made from soybeans. Not all of it. Oh. It's, made from, it's mostly made from mushrooms and mm. egg whites. Oh. You have to check the ingredients, don't you? And yeah. the pudding is really nice, but it could do with some double cream. And some chicken. Or some, <laughs> some, chicken. Or some cl um, Cornish clotted cream. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Gareth. Right, so we've got a catfish. Called James. Called James. We've got these two new ones. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Is that how they're called? I don't know yet, but I'm feeling that way. <laughs> okay. And then the stingray's buried at the back. Right. I'm going to try and get him to eat if James doesn't get there first. What, and eat the fish? Yeah, eat the food. I've just fed him, so there's a lot of granules around, so he's just swimming around gobbling everything up at the moment. Okay. Just wait for him to pass a little bit. Why did you call him James? Because at the time, all of my fish were, like, um, named after the first letter of their name. okay. Oh, that's a bit of food. Oh, no. Like spot the stingray. James is gonna just eat everything. Yeah, he spat it out. Did he not want it? The stingray's normally pretty good at once it realises. How long have you had it. a stingray for? But, um, third day. Oh, so it's new. Yeah. yeah. Do many people have them as pets? Mm, they're getting more popular, but they're not. Yeah. How big would they grow? Um, he's a boy, so he stays smaller. So he get about two and a half times the size he is now. Oh, okay, quite big then. James is playing in the bubbles. <laughs> he does that. Do you see his gills? He, he, mm. he eats the bubbles and they come out his gills. Oh, so like a little hot he might not eat again. He did eat earlier, so he might just be full because he's new. Oh, no, he can smell it and he knows it's there. James just not doing his face. I know. He's going to move. I can see it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's just going to get He's not going to swim around, is he? He, he's, he did earlier. Yeah, he's got yeah. it. Oh, well done. That's a really good sign that he's eating. Oh, is it? Yeah, so he's eaten since the day I got him, which is amazing. Oh, he also it? eats pellet food. Oh, James is saying hello. I know, that's right where his barb is. Oh, really? Could yeah. that oh, hurt, James? Yeah, I don't know if he's going to. Don't do that, James. He's okay. It's serrated, that's why I was like, oh. And it's venom. We all know because of Steve. Yeah, well, see, it's a freshwater stingray, but they are still venomous. Mm. Not enough to kill you. But it would kill James. 
No, it wouldn't kill James. Oh, it oh, just hurt him. Out. Yeah, he's. Um, oh, look, it's moving. Now. What was it we saw online? They were called the stingrays. I wish. You I want. Oh yeah, wish you were dead, fish. Oh really? Because apparently the sting from the stingray is so bad, you wish you were dead for a oh, while. Oh my gosh. Hello, James. How are you? <laughs> Pop another piece in now because I think he'll have that. Will he move then? Do you think? Hopefully. Oh, she wants that. Have I picked up the camera today? It's Thursday. It's after five. I have just completed. Oh, I've just noticed something on my list. I thought I'd finished it. I've done everything on my list. I'm just waiting for something from somebody else for the zine, and I've done everything today. Quite pleased with myself. Been at my desk since seven o'clock. Had lunch at my desk, and Louis is making dinner. He's come into the kitchen, he's put music on, he's got such great taste in music. I've had a bit of everything. I don't know what's coming on now, I'm just listening. Um, it's been a warm day apparently, so they tell me. I haven't noticed. I've had more problems with printers. It's been a problem week this week. So many problems going on. I'm not sure what music might be Fleetwood Mac playing. I'm not sure. But um, I've done so much, I'm so pleased. Louie has made Nando's for dinner tonight. It looks very nice, Louie, thank you. We've come out for a little woodland walk. Aid, what are you spitting oh, at? I've got flying ants around. <laughs> They're <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, we just come out after dinner. Louie cooked dinner. Louie cleaned up dinner. I think he's done something. Why do you think so? Yeah, he wouldn't suspicious. normally do that, yeah. And it's about half seven, I think. We've just come out for a really nice walk. It's such a lovely evening. It's beautiful. I'm going to walk in front of your camera here, sorry. Okay. Have I ruined your thing? No, you made it better. Oh, thank you. Morning, it's Friday and I've actually got a Disney video uploading tonight. I've got it up early to edit it because I've been really bad at getting them up and I think I've just got two left now, maybe three actually. Tonight and then two more. And then I'm done with Walt Disney World. Um. I've had a printer delivery arrive yesterday, some of the stuff I wasn't very happy with again, and I've had another one arrive this morning, so I'm just going through things, trying to get things ticked off my list. I'm going at a slower pace today and I just want to get things done, but it's very, very warm today. It's going to be, I think, mid-30s, um, so I want to try and get stuff done and then maybe work in the garden. So I had some stuff arrive that I wasn't very happy with. Um, some of it's got marks on it, so I dealt with that yesterday. Today um, I was messing around with some artwork as well last night with watercolours um, to leave to dry overnight so I need to put this away and these came today. Do you remember this artwork that I created recently? And I've got a little postcard on the back. I'm really pleased with these. That was the original artwork and that's my postcard. Ta -da! I'm quite pleased with those. Do you remember the notebooks that I had at the beginning of the week? It's taken me all week to sort this out. I've been so disappointed with the notepads, so many of them I can't use, over half of them, and also they're off, they've cut them really badly, so I can't actually use any of them, they've been a nightmare to deal with, really really bad, not even an apology, and that drives me mad, customer service was so poor, I've ended up having to go elsewhere because they said that my new lot would take me seven days and that's not good enough because I'm collaborating with somebody else and I need to send them to her. I wanted to send them this week so I am so disappointed. Um, they've just been really rubbish. I've had to go elsewhere. It's cost me double the amount and they should be delivered at the start of the week. So fingers crossed. Um, I hope they're okay. I haven't ordered from the other printer before so I do feel quite nervous. I'm desperately trying to get these planner packs packed so that I can get them in the post today. I've been making the little clips. We've got rose gold clips with pink ribbons this month. We've got stickers. These are the packs. And then you've got a couple of postcards as well that are going in. Yay, all the post is done. I've actually got the planner packs early uh, this month. So I'm really chuffed. We're going to go and take them to the post office. Do you ever have this problem? It's so hot today, we're all hungry, but we don't know what we fancy. We've just been stood inside the fridge in the freezer, <laughs> having a look, and we've decided we've got loads of curry left over from my mum's the other night, so we're gonna use that, shame not to, but Holly is going to make rotis. Holly makes really, really good rotis, so I'm going to try and sneak in with the camera and see if I can record her so she can show you what she makes. I've just been photographing all this as well. This is the new kit and it's all up for sale now so I'm very excited about that. It's a very colourful kit. Looks cool doesn't it? 
What are the ingredients? Self-raising flour, salt and water. So how many self-raising flour did you do? I winged it. Oh, you winged it. That's not very helpful. So self-raising flour and water, so it gets to... And salt. And salt, so it gets to like a dough consistency. Yeah, it's just a dough. Okay. So Holly's rolled them out, and now she's putting them in the pan. They are bubbling, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Looks cool. And I'm going to clean some of the veg mum bought me. Or groom me, I should say. We've got courgette, cucumber, green beans, which I'm about to do now. Got a bag of carrots, all from mum's vegetable patch. And two very big lettuces. Did you put garlic in them in the end? No, no they look really nice though. Sit. Holly's made Poppy a little <gasps> roti. Oh. It's your own one, Pops. She's done it so gently. Did you want curry with that? Nice. That's her first ever roti. Yeah. She thinks she likes it. Yeah. It's a nice treat for you, Pops. She can't be little sure. bit of ethnic food. Oh, she likes that. She's doing a little bit of yoga at the same time. Oh, hello, Pops. I've cooked off some green beans. And there's one of Mum's lettuces from the garden. And we're going to go and eat out in the garden. Morning! I am going to finish off the vlog, the week vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I forgot to include the footage of the rats the other night. We went out for a walk last night as well. And we went back to see the rats. Um, there's so many. So I'll include a little thing of the rats. Absolutely. There's about five rats we've just counted running along the fence into the trees. That's a small one, that one. Yeah, look. There. Where are the other ones? That's a little one. There were some big ones as well, weren't there? Do you reckon they've all got nests in here or something? There were five, weren't there? Yeah, saw loads of them. Yeah. So, oh, it was running along the end there. It's coming down here. Hello. Little ratty. Are you ratty too? It's got something in its mouth. Yeah, I saw something else. Oh, there's one down by the fence there. Yeah. Oh, there. Look, look. Have you got a few? Up. Yeah. Where? Oh, there's tiny ones. Do you see them? They've got a nest under there, I think. Can you see? Yep. There's lots of ratatouilles. They're little remies. There's one down there. I've as well. never seen that before. Have you? Look, they're all in there. There's loads. Oh my goodness. Oh, this one's just scurried across the thing the road. Are you shocked? Yes and no. Oh, there's more over here. There's about three over here, Aid. Oh. How many have you got near you? Just one. There's about three over here. You may well have seen that on my Instagram stories anyway, because I was sharing it when we saw them. But I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. I hope you're doing well. And please comment, say hello. And I will see you in the next video, which I'm about to start recording. Take care. Love you lots. Bye.